Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So before we start today's video, I just want to talk about a few DMs and comments I've been getting lately about my channel. A lot of you guys have been asking me, when is my next road trip? And the truth is, with gas prices skyrocketing, I really don't know. I've been getting a lot of people telling me that they want to see more road trip content. They want me to travel cross country. And I talked to a few fans and I came up with a cool solution. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be accepting donations to the channel. All money donated is going to go towards a road trip fund where we can have a fun adventurous road trip across the country film a whole bunch of content and have a great time doing it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link down below my Venmo my cash app and my PayPal and for every person that donates leave a comment of somewhere where you want us to go and I'll try and go there and I'll make a video and I'll give you a shout out top donors will get a shout out on my channel I'll shout out whatever social media you want just for helping out the channel because I love you guys I wouldn't be here without you guys we all know times are tough right now I really do miss the road trip content I really do want to film videos for you guys and I think this is going to be the best way for me to do it to get the channel kickstarted again so we can start going on more adventures and more road trips in the future. I also have a giveaway coming up on the channel. I've had it in the works for a couple months now. It's finally coming together but if you guys aren't subscribed you're not going to be able to enter the giveaway so you guys have to click subscribe down below. Turn on the bell so you never miss a new video. Let's jump right into today's video. Yo what is up guys? Welcome back to the Claw Boss channel. Today I'm going to show you guys the life of a limo driver. So right now I'm on my way down to Long Beach Island, New Jersey. I'm picking up eight people to go to a concert in Philly at the Wells Fargo Center. And I'm going to take you guys along for the ride to show you guys what limo drivers do while you're inside your bar, your venue, your wedding, whatever it is that you're doing. I'm going to show you guys what we do. So right now I'm in a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter, which is Actually, this is my first time driving one. I picked up the Sprinter at the office, went and got dressed, put on my suit and my tie, got all cleaned up. So before you pick up the customer, what you have to do is you have to make sure the vehicle's clean, vacuum it, wipe down everything. The previous driver should have done that when they last used the vehicle. If they didn't, you have to do it. Then once you've done that, you're on the road, go pick up the customer. So if you look behind me, there's actually a partition which divides me and the customer. So if they want privacy, I want privacy. It is what it is. I can just press the button, put the partition down. Now the customer back there can see me. They can talk to me. If they want privacy, I just press the button again, put the partition up, and now they got plenty of privacy back there. Okay, so now I'm parked up over here in Philly. I'm right in front of Lincoln Financial Field and other limos park here. We just normally chill out here when we go to Philly go to any sporting events or anything like that. There's Citizens Bank Park right there where the Phillies are playing. The Wells Fargo Center is over here. And you got the link right here. Right now it's 9.30, so I have about two more hours left just chilling out here doing absolutely nothing. If customers don't bring anything in the back, so like if they don't bring like coolers, they don't bring drinks or anything, which sometimes they don't, what I'll do is I'll just go chill in the back, listen to music, watch YouTube, whatever. These particular customers here, they have their stuff back there. So I don't go in the back. I'm not going to mess with their stuff, move it around or anything. That's their own private area. You know, sometimes they'll leave purses or something you don't know. So you don't want to go back there and touch it or anything. Some limo drivers will. I'm not like that. I actually care about people's personal possessions. I'm just hanging out right now outside the bus. I've been inside the bus texting people, making phone calls, going on YouTube, you know, just sitting up front. Here is the driver's area, guys. Got a core extra ice over there. Got my bag over here. Um, it's basically very simple, very plain. I'm going to be leaving here soon. So once I leave, I have to go drop the customers off back where I picked them up about an hour and a half away. And then I have to go back to the office, vacuum out the interior, place any glasses, take any trash out, replace any drinks they may have drank and just clean up inside. So I'll catch you then. Okay. So it's currently the next day I got back late. So what happened last night? They trashed my bus. Now, I cleaned it so you guys aren't going to see the mess. I didn't film it, but I have to thank Dirty Lou and Calvin for helping me clean the bus because this thing was an absolute nightmare last night. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's a little bit dirty. They used all the glasses. This was filled with trash. This was filled with trash. That was filled with trash. There's crap all on the floor. We vacuum, we wipe stuff down. So it's pretty much clean in here now to the point I have to clean a little bit more. When we get back to the office, I'll do that. 
So I'm gonna take you guys back to the office right now. Also, might I add, I got zero extra gratuity, zero tip. I got the tip that was built into the job. They didn't tip anything extra. Normally, I'm not upset. I know people don't have that much money, but if you're gonna trash my bus, at least tip a little bit extra because it does take a lot of time. Like I said, it took three guys, three guys to clean back here, and it's still not done. Come on, people, do better. They were nice people, but you're gonna trash the bus. At least make it worth it for me to clean it up. So today I have to do a Philadelphia International Airport arrival, which is not the funnest. It's easy, but it's just not fun. What that consists of is going into short-term parking. Then after that, you have to go inside the terminal, stand with the little sign with their name on it, wait for them to come out. It takes forever for them to come out because international arrivals suck. You have to go through customs. Then you can finally come out, you get your bags, come out to meet the driver, then I have to drive them home. I'll take you for that trip too. Might as well, right? It's the next day. You know, let's have some fun. Let's get back to the office. Okay, so basically what we have to do now, we have to clean everything. Take all these glasses out, wipe this down, clean the floors. Let's do it. Okay, so we back in last night, but you know, you want to make it perfect, especially for the next guy who has to do a job. You don't want, you don't want to leave anything for them, man. So these girls last night, man, they got sandwiches all over the floor. They smashed all kinds of crap into the floor, man. The only problem I'm running into right now is I don't have enough glasses for this vehicle. I only have one. So that means I just gotta put these in here. Go wash these in the dishwasher. Because every time a job is done, you guys may not know when you rent a limo, dishes, the glasses, whatever you wanna call them, are always clean. They're always freshly washed in the dishwasher. So if you wanna use them, you can go ahead and use them. They're fine. It's not a problem. I know a lot of people are kinda of weary about using them. I would use them. They're clean enough. They're clean in the dishwasher. How much cleaner do you want them? You know what I'm saying? Now what we're gonna do is we're going to replace these glasses right here. If you don't know which ones were used, you know, like, they look dirty, replace it. And if they took the napkin out, replace it. So basically I have to replace all these, which is fine. It's not a problem. Spray this down just to clean it. No. Now we're gonna stock these up. Okay, that is all stocked up, looking nice. Let's see, is there anything in here? This doesn't belong in here, so that's gonna go with me. This doesn't belong, this is just stuff that they left. Red Bulls. You don't wanna leave Red Bulls in here, it's not, that's not what goes in there. That's okay. We'll stock that a little bit more. Um, put these in here. These are going to get washed now. That's good to go. We're good there. Now I just have to straighten up these seat belts, wipe down the seats and the wall back there, and then we're good. People touch everything. They tend to touch everything. So take the seat belts like this, fold them up for the next customers. The spray. Spray them. Spray them. And this is what it looks like. All cleaned up and ready to go on its next trip. Everything else is good. Floor's clean, seats are clean, walls clean, bars clean. Everything looks good. We're good to go on our next job. Let's go. So yeah, if you want to be a limo driver, it's just stuff you gotta prepare to do. Alright, for my next job, we're gonna be hopping into this expedition and the airport. Okay, so today may not have been the best day to pick to film this video because it is literally a solid like 90 degrees outside and it's hot and I'm wearing black. I'm sweating like a pig. So I really had to get that done. I really had to get that Mercedes cleaned up perfect before I left. So when we get to the airport, we have to go to short term parking. So when we get to the airport, we have to go to short-term parking, which is kind of a pain in the ass. You gotta go inside, meet the customer, hold a little sign, you know, the, the, the whole deal. Okay, so this is short-term parking right here. We are at the International Terminal, filling up the International. Going up to the top level, because the top level has the best parking. 
Every good limo driver knows that. Just twist all the way around to the top. Then what we gotta do is we gotta head over here somewhere. Let's see what kind of parking situation we got here. Got a really good view of the city over there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're gonna try and get the best possible parking here. We gotta go over here because this is where the international terminal is that way. So yeah, let's see if we can find the best possible parking. It's a pretty crowded little airport for, you know, what it is. So let's see what we got here. Actually, looks like there's plenty of parking up here, which is a good thing. And you know what I'll do? I'll park on the end here so it's easier for the customer to get in. It'll make life a lot easier because nobody can park next to me and it's not that far of a walk. So let's do that. We'll park on the edge here. And that way, nobody can park next to me, box us in. We got plenty of room behind us as you can see to open up the back for luggage. And here we are. We're parked up at Philly International. Okay, so basically what we have to do now is we have to take the elevator down. I forgot how to do that, but that's where we have to go. We have to go down. Like I said, the best parking is on the top. If you try to park at level three, you're not gonna get parking. Or you'll get parking really far away from the door. 